hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using photoshop so let's get started so the paper i'm going to use in this tutorial is a5 paper size then here yeah, and I'm going to turn it, change it to inches. Then I will leave the resolution at 300. Then you click on create. So now these are the images I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then and here are the tests I'm going to use. First, I will copy the color code, Ctrl C. Then go to your solid column. Then Ctrl V to paste it then now i'm going to select this one then scale it out this way it's okay then go to filter blur and gaussian blur then i'm going to leave it at 29.1 then apply layer mask select your gradient to all right then i'm going to bring this one then i'll position it over here go back to blow select your gaussian blow leave it like this then i will drag this one come down so this is what I have. Then draw a rectangle over here. Apply white color. It's okay. Now I will go back to this position. Then select curve. Then drag it down this way to make it darker like this then all right then select this one again go back to your blur all right so like this so now i'm going to select this image rasterize it hold your shift plus ctrl plus u then to desaturate then apply layer mask Select your brush, then I'm going to brush here. Then I will reduce the opacity. To seven is okay. Then I will go back again to bring this image. position it over here then rasterize it hold your shift plus ctrl plus u then apply layer mask select your brush again then you brush over here like this then you brush the top all right then i'm going to reduce the opacity to seven seven is too much okay make it nine it's okay Yeah, it's okay. Then I will also bring this image, then take it over this position, then apply layer mask, select your brush, and brush over here. Reduce the opacity. Then before then, Change it to lightning. Lightning is okay. Take the op opacity back to 100%. Okay. Now, 
copy your text Control C then I'm going to use the font railway then change the color to black reduce the size then I'm going to open the character space to 20 then I will reduce this font size again like this is okay then I'm going to copy this test here select your test tool again then you paste then increase it this way it's okay I'm going to group this one Ctrl G as my background then this one will be the church name okay then this one I'm going to apply red color then go to stroke then I will apply to stroke then I will reduce the size of this one which is white I will do, reduce it to 27 then apply shadow okay like this then I'm going to draw an ellipse cycle Hold your shift key for perfect cycle. Then come over here. Then I'm going to apply this color here. Then click on this to revise it. Then I'll drag it over here. Then go to your drop shadow. Five. Reduce the spread to five. Then reduce the size. Then I reduce the opacity. Sixty four is okay. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to copy hours off. Then Ctrl V to paste. Change the color to white. Then close the character space this way. Drag it over here. Select it to apply vertical alignment so that it will be centralized. Then Ctrl J to duplicate it. Then I will drag it down. Then copy praise. Ctrl V then open the character space like this then I will increase the size then change the font
to intro line. Then I will duplicate this test here, drag it up, then bring it down, then come back and copy your test, then Ctrl V to paste, reduce the size, apply center alignment. Then duplicate this one again, Ctrl J. Then you drag it up, bring it down over here. Then highlight it, come to copy or test, Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. Then you reduce the font size this way. Then hold your Ctrl key and click on the cycle apply vertical alignment all right now i'm going to select hold your shift key then you select over to our soft then you use your arrow key to bring it down all right so this is what we have Now I'm going to select them, then Ctrl G to group it, and you name it Hours of Praise and Worship. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl D to the select. Then you can increase the size this way. All right. Then the next thing again is the team Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color to white. Reduce the size. Then I will turn it. I'll turn it like this, position it over here, then apply drop shadow, all right, then come back again and you copy this test here. Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to use this font, Open Sans. Then make it extra bold. Then you close the character space by 16. Then you increase it. Then rotate it. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Then Apply red color on this one. Then come back to the first one. Then use your arrow key. Then to move it this way. Now, then go to your drop shadow to apply shadow.
all right so this is what i have here then select your test group again then you copy this one ctrl c then ctrl v to paste it then i'm going to change this color the font to bebas then increase the size then rotate it then open the character space this way it's okay then select it go to your drop shadow again you can see then okay then now i'm going to copy this one ctrl c before then i'm going to select this one here then I will expand it like this I'm going to reduce this team Okay. Control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Open Sans. Then group this one. I'm going to draw a red angle then change it the color to red then duplicate this one drag it up then bring it down here Then reduce the size. I will change the color to white. Hold your shift key then to reduce the size. Then I'm going to copy this one. Select your test tool. Then you paste. I'm going to change the font to railway. Then make it bold. Then change the color to red. Then apply horizontal and vertical alignment. Then I will drag this one over here. Then drag it over here then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl j then take it up hold your shift key then i'm going to change the color to red then copy the test then i'm going to duplicate this test here drag it up then move it over here then change the color to white now paste your test then i will reduce it small
select your rectangle, hold your shift key, then you drag it this way. Then select the rectangle again, then you du duplicate it, move it up, hold your shift key, then you drag it over here, then change the color to white. Then duplicate this test here, Ctrl J. Then you move it over here. Then change the color to red. Then I will copy this test here, Ctrl C. Then I will paste over here. Then select the rectangle, hold your shift key and you drag it this way. Then group it all together. Ctrl G. Now highlight it, apply vertical alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. So this is what we have. Now again, I'm going to copy the location here, Ctrl C. Then I'm going to duplicate this rectangle, angle, Ctrl J, or you drag it over here. Then you'll take it up. Ctrl V to paste. Then I will change the color, I mean the font, to railway, bold, then reduce the size, we place it over here, then hold your control key and select the two together, then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. So that is, this is what we have. Then I'm going to select this one, then Ctrl G to group it. Then this one, Ctrl G to group this one. Then I'm going to open this one. Then copy the time. Select your test tool, come over here. Sorry. Then you paste. Then change the font to railway. And make it bold. Then drag it over here. And I'm going to scale it this way. Then close the crater space there. All right. Then copy your test. Then select your test tool. Control V to paste. Then I'm going to reduce this one this way then place it over here so this is what we have I'm going to reduce this one a bit Use your arrow key to move it back. All right. Now I'm going to rename this one. 
date and time. All right. Now I'm going to select this one. Then move it down. This way. Then I'm going to bring this light flare over here, place it in the test, then I'm going to rotate it position it over here, then change it to screen. Go to your Gaussian blur, then reduce it to around 2.7, then go to apply your layer mask, select your brush, the brush over here, then I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl J so that it will shine well, then duplicate it again, Ctrl J. Then I'm going to bring this one over here, then hold your shift key, then to compress it, then you rotate it, move it over here. Select your test tool, then close the space. Alright, so that is it. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, share, and like.